The wonder and joy of the Christmas season will be on full display next month at Houston's First Baptist Church. Look at that. It is all part of their annual celebration featuring live music, costume characters, dancing, even animals to help tell the story of Jesus' birth and ministry. Well, here with a preview of this year's show, we'd like to welcome John Bolin, Minister of Worship and Arts with Houston First Baptist Church. Hey guys, and Merry Christmas. Same to you. Yes. I know we haven't had turkey yet, you know, for Thanksgiving, but we can talk Christmas, right? Absolutely. This is such an amazing, it truly is a production, as you were just, it you really called is. it the Radio City Music Hall. We've been Houston, called the right? Radio City Music Hall Christmas Spectacular of Houston. Yeah. It's unbelievable. This has been going on for, since you got there decades, since 2009. Decades, truly but, decades. Yeah, it has a yeah. We, our church has really been known for a pageant that, uh, you know, our church put on for, for decades back in the 70s and on. And then we kind of uh, did some different things from 2000 to 2009 ish, that 10 years. And then we brought it back, kind of repackaged it, called it Celebration. And then it's just been growing ever since. And it's been exciting. And year by year, it's better and better. The crowds are are bigger and bigger. Last year, though, the show didn't happen because of Harvey. You know, it didn't, believe it or not, and we all know what that weekend was when yeah. Harvey hit. Yeah. That was actually the weekend where we started rehearsals and auditions. That was the weekend. And so, boy, that those weeks leading uh, leading up to that was exciting, and then Harvey hit, and we really had to process that, right, as the whole city did. What does that mean for us in our, our program and our ministry? And we just really felt like we needed to lay that down. Instead of inviting people into our walls, we went outside our walls and loved on the city of Houston. And so we helped Help get right. homes and help people and then this year even creates more excitement that it's back we've already given away hundreds of tickets to Harvey victims even because we're kind of inviting them back inside our building to kind of say we're for you we still believe in you we know you're still hurting it's a process so it has been a two-year kind of uh, interesting how we laid that down last year but then it's exciting to bring it back and this is no easy task as you were just looking at some of the video at home live animals i mean the cast members are hundreds yes deep, right? absolutely yeah and volunteers we almost reach a thousand across the board when it comes to on platform and off stage and helping with t i mean when it comes across and then the animals of course that's always a fun thing you know what what's the lineup for the animals this year can you most most christmas shows you know you got to have Camel? the camels and the sheep and and the donkey of course you know but we actually go one step farther we bring an elephant to our christmas show and so we have this incredible moment where Paige the Elephant comes into our sanctuary kind of during that classic King's procession if you will at the uh, at the manger so he comes around it's amazing you know that's a big moment I thought our our room feels big except when Paige when walks in you know and then it's uh, it, it becomes real small real fast well and just as Courtney mentioned seeing the video on stage it, it, it we can't help but appreciate all the work that goes into mm -hmm. a production of this scale it really is a church-wide volunteer effort but it's also a family-friendly show all ages and even though Santa wasn't maybe part of the original Christmas story, yeah. he does make a cameo, Yeah, right? he does, actually. And we love Santa, and we love what he stands for, is giving, right, and the love of the season. And so we do bring all the characters, and that's one of the things we love about our show is it's very family-friendly. Family we want to bring the kids in. In fact, my son Hudson was two, two years ago. He sat through the whole thing mesmerized. So we really try to bring all generations together. We package it in a way where it's not too long for the kids, you right. know, not, and it's really a, a sweet thing. And, and so we bring all those characters that the kids love, Santa being one of them. In fact, we do on Saturday morning is a really special show where we bring Santa back after the show, all those kids that we invite to this special show, he comes and talks to them, he gives them a special gift, and he kind of tells them why he gives gifts. You know, what's the story behind Santa uh, and why he does what he does? So, yeah, we believe in that. We think that's that's a wonderful thing. It is a wonderful thing. John Bolin, thank you so much for stopping it's by. It's I need to get you tickets, because I want you to come, to come see, it. see it. it. That'd be, that would be a I special mean, guest. I mean, if, if, we, if yeah, I can, get I know the director, yeah. I know the director, and I think I can make it happen. <laughs> we did, by the way, just have the info on the screen. Uh, let's throw that up just one more time. Tickets and info about the celebration at Houston's First Baptist Church. You can just visit their website, thefirstchristmas.org, or you can call 713-681-8000. Go. It is a must-see. You'll be glad you It really is. December 6th through the 9th. Awesome. Thanks so much Merry for coming Christmas, in. Merry Christmas, guys. Same you to you.